ladies, I'm Karen from Karen Wilson Natural Beauty and this is week one of my grow out challenge. So this is my hair. It has grown out a little bit this week. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can definitely tell the difference because I had to go out and get a, get a do-rag so I can lay this hair down. So my hair is definitely growing. But this week, we're not going to talk about hair. I'm going to talk about how to promote proper hair through proper eating. That is number one. That is the key. It is very important that you consider what you put in your body when you're thinking about how to grow your hair. It is very important that you eat properly. I know you've heard it before. You've probably heard it time and time again. Eat proper, eat properly, eat properly. Well, I'm going to tell you again. Be considerate of what you put in your body. So, hair grows about a half inch a month, but how does the hair grow? Hair grows through the nutrients you put in your body. So blood circulation to the scalp delivers proper nutrients to your hair and that's what causes it to grow through proper nutrients being fed to your hair, stimulating the follicle so it can grow. That's why you need to eat properly. So you need to include more products of nutritional value. So what type of uh, foods are they? It's any of the foods, or excuse me, most of the foods that you find in the grocery store, those foods that are on the outer perimeter of the grocery store, so those are your, your, your vegetables, your fruits, your meats, your unprocessed foods. Those are foods, foods of nutritional value. This is important to me because for those of you who know me best, you know that I struggle as it relates to what I put in my body. I have a connection to the grease. I love the grease. But in 2012, I too, I'm making a commitment to myself to eat properly. So I'm cutting back on the grease and I'm adding more fruits and vegetables and more raw foods. I encourage you to do the same. Also, water. You need to drink more water. Eight to 10 glasses a day. If you can't do eight to 10 glasses a day, do as much water as you can, more than what you already do. Water is important because your hair uh, follicles or your hair strands, excuse me, are made up of one quarter water. So your hair is made up of water. Therefore, it's important that you put water back into your system so that that can properly moisturize your hair as well. So, um, when your hair is properly moisturized, that prevents it from being dry and brittle, therefore prevents it from breaking off so you're able to retain the length that you grow. That's why it's also important that you drink plenty of water. That's what promotes hair growth. And thirdly, uh, proper vitamins, multivitamins, biotin, uh, folic acid, B-complex, a lot of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, all of the vitamins, proper vitamins, also help to promote hair growth. But I caution you, it's important that you eat the proper foods first and use the vitamins to supplement your meals. Don't just totally rely on the vitamins. So if you're not at the point where you're eating all of the proper foods, like me, then definitely add some, some vitamins, a multivitamin. You can even get a vitamin for hair, skin, and nails as well. That helps to promote um, hair growth. So that is my tip for today, proper eating. If you have any questions about this week's tips, just send me an email at info at KarenWilsonBeauty.com. Until we talk again, stay fabulous, but make sure you eat your fruits and vegetables.